Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 76. For the last few days, for the last 7 or 8 days, we've been dealing with the notion of average. Today we'll do a problem dealing with the concept of not an average, not an ordinary average, but weighted average. Here's the problem. We are told that at a charity event, at a charity event, 23 people gave $40 each. We are further told that 17 people gave $60 each, 20 people gave $80 each, and finally 10 people, we are told, gave $100 each. And the question simply is, what is the approximate average contribution? Now in the real exam, whether you're preparing for the ACT or SAT or TES or GMAT or GRE, it doesn't matter. In the real exam, this is the typical question that may appear in the exam, and in the real exam, if it appears, the people who give you the exam, they're not going to be nice enough, you, nice enough to underscore the word here. I'm doing it for your benefit. So let's learn about underscore since I use it in the context. They're not going to be nice enough to underscore the word for you. What does it mean to underscore? Underscore, if you recall, for those of you who have been watching the vocabulary videos as well, if you recall, it's the word we learned on day number. On day number 12. If you're preparing for any of these tests, just type in the respective test. For example, if you're preparing for GRE, just type in GRE vocabulary words, GRE vocabulary words day 12, or SAT vocabulary words day 12, and the video will pop right up. Watch the video and learn about underscore. We learn it on day number 12 in our vocabulary video. Underscore means to emphasize. To emphasize, as in, see, by underlining it, we're emphasizing it. To emphasize, to accentuate, to highlight. In the real exam, they're not going to accentuate the word, they're not going to highlight the word, they're not going to underscore it, they're not going to underline it. You just have to be smart enough to realize that they're asking for the approximate value. In other words, that's their way of saying, that's their way of saying that if you, if you are hell-bent on figuring out the exact value, it, you will end up taking an inordinate amount of time, depending on the situation. You will end up taking inordinate amount of time. You will end up taking excessive amount of time. You will end up taking unreasonable amount of time if you are hell-bent on doing the exact calculation. Exact calculation is not required here. When did we learn the word inordinate? Day number 72. Day 72 and day 12. Learn the words. Anyway, let's begin, the, let's begin our work here. So the 23 people gave $40 each. You have to figure out what 23 times 4 is. What can we do it? 23 times 4. Let's do it right here. 23 times 4 is very straightforward. 4 3s are 12, 2 carry 1, 4 2s are 8 plus 1 is 9. This is going to be 92. 23 times 4 is 92. Next we have 17 times 6. Let's do 17 times 6. What can we do 17 times 6? Let's do it right here. 17 times 6. 7 6 are 42. 2 carry 4. 6 ones are 6, plus 4 is 10, so it's going to be 102. 102, I did not have fourth power to leave the room for 100 digit. 102. 2 times 6 is 2 times 8. 2 times 8 is just 16. And then 10 times 1000 is, 10 times 100 is 1000. Now we're going to go back and take care of our zeros. That's all it is. That's all it is. Don't waste your time doing the whole numbers. We did 23 times 4. We did 23 times 4. We left out the zero. So we go and stick the zero at the end. We did 17 times 6. We did 17 times 6. We left out the zero. So you stick a zero at the end. We did, we did 2 times 6. We left out the zero. Zero for the 20 and zero for the 80. So we go and stick the zeros. Two zeros. That's it. We're done. Let's find the sum. Let's find the sum of the total that will give us the total contribution, the sum of the total contribution from all the people. These are all zeros, so they don't do anything, they're just zeros. 2 plus 2 is 4. 6 plus 9 is 5. 5. Uh, 6, 6 plus 9. I was about to say, this is this is weird, this is too spooky. I was about to say, I was about to say, the words were on my uh, on the tip of my tongue here. I was about to say that. If in a problem like this you end up making a mistake, 
The mistake is not there because it's too difficult to understand the problem, it's too difficult to solve the problem, it's because of sheer carelessness. And I, I ended up doing the exact same thing myself just a second ago. 9 plus 6 is not 5, it's 15. 9 plus 6 is 15, 5. Carry one, that makes a big difference. Of course that makes a big difference. You're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4. Looks like the total contribution is 4,000, 4,540. Now we have to figure out how many total people we have. 23, 23 people, 17 people, 20 people, and 10 people. Oh, that's very easy. 7 plus 3 is 10, so it's 0. Carry one. 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. There are 70 people. So 70 people gave a total of this much amount. All you have to do now is to divide this amount, 45, 45, 40 by 70, which we're going to do it, which we're going to do it right here. We're almost done. 45, 40 divided by 70. Well, we see a number on the top, which is a multiple of 10. We see a number at the bottom, which is a multiple 10, multiple of 10. Why do we divide top and bottom by 10? And how do we show the work of dividing top and bottom by 10? It's very simple. Knock out the zeros. Zeros are gone. Now we have to divide 454 by 7. Let's do that. How many 7 does 4 have? 4 has no 7. 4 has no 7. That 4 goes and joins the 5, becomes 45. How many 7s How many sevens does 45 have? 45 has 6 7s. Seven. 6 7s seven are 42. 6 7s are 42. You must know your table. You must know all your tables by heart, which is why when we begin the series, you may have you if you if you go back and look at the first ten videos, you will see that the first ten videos may have come across a lot of people as very childish, very juvenile, very puerile, but they were there for a reason, because you must know your tables. You must know your timetables. Do you understand? Puerile is the word that I just used right now, and I don't think we ever learned the word in our vocabulary lessons. And I'm not going to attempt to put it on the blackboard right now because I don't quite know how to spell it. Puerile means childish, infantile, baby-like. Oh, we did learn it. What the hell? P-U-E-R-I-L-E. -E. Some people pronounce it as puerile, as I just did, or puerile, which means infantile. Childish. It may have come across as very childish, very infantile, very puerile, very puerile uh, uh, for, for some people that I was standing there teaching you the timetables in the first 10 days of the series. But timetables are very, very important. They come in very handy. One more time. Six sevens are, six sevens are 42. We have 45. We have 45. We have used up 42 out of 45. We have three left over from the 45. That 3 goes and joins the 4 becomes 34. Okay, pay attention, stay with me in the story. One more time, 7, 6 are 42. 7, 7, 6 are 42. We take away 42 from it, we are left with 3. 3 goes and joins the 4 becomes 34. 34. Now, since they are looking for, since they are looking for an approximate answer, since they are looking for the approximate answer, it is 34. Let's turn it into, I'm going to do it in a different color to accentuate the fact that we change it. Let's pretend that it is 5. We increase the amount by five dollars. So one more time. Seven six are forty-two. The remaining three goes and joins the five, not the four. We increase the amount by ten dollars. The remaining three goes and joins the five, becomes thirty-five. Seven fives are thirty-five. Voila. Seven fives are thirty-five. It comes out with sixty-five dollars approximately. Approximately because it is ten more dollars than we really have. We don't have four thousand five hundred and fifty dollars, we have four thousand five hundred and forty dollars. It's close enough. Of course it's close enough because they're looking for the approximate answer and that's very close. The answer is 65. The answer is 65. Now what we're going to do now is to change it back to 40 and figure out the exact figure. Do you understand? It's very, it's very simple. If you want the exact figure, the exact figure is going, is going to be, let's do it right here. 4, 5, 4, 0 divided by 7. 7, 6 are 42. The re remaining, three, remaining 3 goes and joins so 4 becomes 34. 34 cannot be divided by 7. 7 fours are 28. 7 fours are 28. So from the 34, from the 34 we add, added up using 28, we have a remainder of 6. We have a remainder of 6 which is being divided by 7. So the correct answer actually, the exact answer is 64 and 6 7.
the correct answer, the exact answer is 64 and 6 seventh, which of course is pretty damn close to 65. 64, 6 seven is approximately 65. The answer is C. Now, before I end the video, before we finish the video, let's talk about the ordinary average. If they were looking for the ordinary average, without worrying about the weights, without worrying about the weights, we know how to find the ordinary average, which is very simple. We have 40, we have 40 dollars, we have 60 dollars, we have 80 dollars and 100 dollars. 80 dollars and 100 dollars. And we know that if you're looking for just a simple average, this is called ordinary average or sometimes it is called a simple average. When the numbers are evenly spaced, we learned this before in the last few days, when the number of numbers are evenly spaced as they are here, they always increase by 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, they are evenly spaced, then the average is simply the middle number. Because we have even numbers of numbers, we don't have a middle number, so we take the middle number of the two middle numbers. The middle number that falls between 60 and 80 is 70. That would be the simple average, which is a sucker's answer right here. That answer is wrong. That's the simple average. The weighted average, once we consider all the weights, the fact that 23 people gave $40 and 17 people, not equal number of people gave this amount, the weights are different. Once we take the weighted average, it turns out to be 65. What? It doesn't turn out to be 65. It turns out to be, that would be wrong to say that, it turns out to be approximately 65. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.